can spin her around like a little ballerina. Oh my gosh, this thing is just so heavy. It kind of looks like a Fisher Price toy. Just a little bit, doesn't it? <sighs> oh, thought I was by myself. Clicked on the video because you want to get started with real mowing? Well, you clicked on the right video because I'm going to explain each of these things really quick for you and my journey with real mowing. Let's do it. All right, first up is the Great States. It's obviously a manual reel mower. I believe this one is a five blade. Uh, you know, this is what I started out with at my old house. And, you know, I, I brought it all the way down with the rotary mower, my Honda, and then I started using this thing and worked great. Grass looked fantastic, but you know, you get a lot of this uh, ripple effect rifling uh, when you use these manual reel mowers. Uh, they, there's another one out there called the Earthwise that can, you know, supposedly it has like six or seven blades or something like that. And it, and it doesn't get that kind of effect, but you know, they're all basically the same. You know, this one has actually wheels in the back here, uh, rollers that can kind of stripe the lawn. Not really, but it's got these manual uh, adjusters right here, these knobs, which do come off. But uh, And then you can adjust the bar up and down on these little pegs. And then also, if you want to get really low, it uh, the there's more adjustments inside the wheels to get low. But, I mean, as you can see here, I'm walking by and... It's not very loud at all. You know, this is like the mower that your grandpa used, you know, and the turning capability on it. I mean, obviously it's really easy and it's super light, you know? So this is the introductory here. And, you know, I suggest that you start with this before you start purchasing anything big. I paid like a 80 bucks, hundred bucks for this thing on eBay. You can find them for around a hundred bucks. This is 18 inches. You can find the Scots, which is 20, but when you're done with these things, you just blow them off and then now you can, hang it up because you know it's it's so light you know you can see just carrying it around it's really easy and yeah it's a good storage saver and this is what i suggest you know if you're getting into real morning pick up real morning pick up one of these first you know and see if you actually like it so let's go check out the sun joe real quick now here we have the sun joe this thing is uh kind of it's actually sporty looking but uh you know i picked this thing up on amazon last year just to do a review on it and you know i i did a little eye in the sky whatever where you can see the review but this little thing even though it's 15 inches it's awesome it's quiet kind of sounds like a vacuum and uh battery powered obviously and uh oh this is the key comes in but the battery is uh right there little white guy in there and uh yeah, it's, it's quiet. It comes with a little catcher on there. And the bonus feature with this is that if the battery does die, it still acts as a manual reel mower. And as you can see here, I'm going by, it sounds like a vacuum and uh, you know, it cuts and it has four different height cuts on there. But uh, like I said, they're really tough to find. But if you can find one, you know, it's really light too. You can see picking it up. You can hang this thing up, it kind of stores straight up, kind of easy. But, uh, and then as far as the turning on it, it's, uh, you know, it turns just like the manual reel mower. You know, it's, it's really light, real easy, and really quiet. And, you know, if you could find one of these, you know, th this isn't bad. It gets rid of that rifling look, the ripple effect. And um, yeah, I, I really like it, but, there's one problem is that because the parts on it are kind of, I mean, it's a metal blade, but if you catch one stone with this thing or a stick, the, the reel to bed knife will get stuck. This is like middle of the road, I guess. And, uh, but good luck finding it. You know, if you want, you can buy mine. I'm just kidding. All right, let's check out the Liberty. All right. If you guys watch my channel at all, the, you know, this is my, my pride and joy is my, my Liberty. But I'm actually upgrading this season to a Sterling, which is a, a 20 inch. This one's only 17 inch. This is powered by a Greens, Greenworks battery and 40 volt. And you know, this thing is perfect for, you know, I have like 5,000 square feet. You know, you can get by with that, no problem. It takes a little bit of time because it's 17 inch, but this thing is quiet. And it's, this is like for a home, this is like their homeowner range at Allen. And what you can do is you take the side off. I already unscrewed it, but, and then this bar comes off and then these cartridges come in and out. And I got a verticutter, scar fire and brush for when I'm sand leveling. But uh, 
yeah, this thing has uh, been really good to me. It's really quiet. The cut is fantastic on it. And um, I mean, as you can see, I'm, it's really quiet going by. This is my favorite one out of the litter. And uh, you know, it's, it's relatively light. Uh, I think it's like 80 pounds or so. I store this on the shelf. It, this thing folds down real easy. And uh, you know, for storage, it's not big and clunky like the Toro, but you can't hang it up like, you know, the great states, but this thing stayed on the shelf all winter and it's been nothing but good to me. I have no complaints with it, you know, especially with the versatility of the cartridge system, but this thing is, it's expensive as, you know, so it's really expensive. The cartridges are expensive, but you're going to see once you get into real mowing, you know, you're just going to keep upgrading and, that's what happened to me. And then I ended up getting the whole set, you know, and now I'm getting rid of it for a Sterling. Ugh. But uh, yeah, you know, this thing turns on a dime. It's got this split drum back here. You know, if you see the review, I put the review up there. I go in depth on this thing and this thing's just awesome. So I highly recommend this one, but uh, let's take a look at the Toro. All right, so this is a Toro Greensmaster 1000. This thing has a 24 inch wide blade. And I think, or the real, and I think it's a 11 blade on here, which that's meant to cut really, really low. Uh, I keep my lawn at three fourths of an inch. So the cut's not gonna be as good. I'm gonna want something with less blades, but uh, you know, it's kinda nice. This thing has a light on it. Uh, you know, I picked it up used. These things are like over 10, 14 grand brand new, but you can find used ones. Uh, right now it's kinda getting a little more tough because everyone's really getting into real mowing. But uh, yeah, you know, this thing has been nice. You know, as you saw, as you can see here is, uh, you know, the thing's fast, you know, I think pops a wheelie, but you really have to control uh, the speed with the throttle here. And then what I didn't know either was, I always saw these wheels on here. These are called transport wheels. And this thing has a kickstand, pick it up when you're getting ready to mow. And then now there's these little clips. And then now these wheels, come off. Now we take the kickstand down and now we're good to go. So, but you know, the thing's fast. It's really, really heavy. So when turning, you're going to have to, you know, pull that gear, hit the brake, you know, like engage, it's engage, disengage the gear. You know, there's a brake. I don't think anyone ever really uses that, but like, unless you're parking it, but uh, yeah, this thing hustles, man. It's really fast. And my backyard is, like close to 3,000 square feet, and I can get this done really fast with this machine. But uh, like I said, you gotta throttle it down. You know, it'll pop a wheelie like you saw in that little clip there, and it's extremely heavy, but you know, turning it, you know, a lot of people are like, oh man, these things are so heavy, you know, which they are, but as you saw, like right here, I'm like turning it right in front of the camera. You know, you just gotta disengage, you turn it, and then you keep going. And then when you're gonna go store it, you gotta put the transport wheels back on and then you just like feather the throttle and, and put it back. So it, it's a little intimidating, you know, and uh, I actually did a video with Justin Long Whisperer. We did a, a Liberty or electric and gas. I'll leave that link up there. You can check that out. Uh, it was the first time I ever used one of these and it's intimidating, but you know, once you start using it, they're, they're not bad at all. You know, this is like what everyone upgrades to uh, from, the manual reel mower, they upgraded these. You know, this thing's like $800,000 right here. And, uh, but like I said, they're getting tougher and tougher to find uh, because the, you know, reel mowing is just becoming so, so popular. You know, it just, it looks nice. It's awesome. So, all right, let's go back over to the crew and uh, let's wrap this video up. So to sum it all up, you know, we got the beginner, the middle, and this is kind of like the, when you graduate over here, and you know, the manual reel mower, this great states is fantastic. And the Liberty, you know, this thing's $3,000. Okay, that's without a battery and charger. It's like 2,800 bucks. The Sun Joe, if you can find one, they're like 200, you know? So this is kind of like probably your best bet to go, but it's such a small cutting, but you know, it acts as a manual and battery. Then you, the Liberty with all the attachments. And then we have the Toro, you know, every YouTuber has the Toro, but uh, you know, and I've also seen other guys have John Deere's and they always end up picking up a Toro and they say they stripe better too. So I don't know, but I'll tell you this, the Liberty stripes the best out of all these things. Even the 270 pound Toro, this little 80 pound Liberty stripes like a king. It's amazing. But 
hopefully this helps you guys out, you know, real mowing, it's really fun. It's addicting, you know, it's a lot more work, but I mean like the payoff, you know, when you take a look at it after, you know, your lawn heals from chopping it from three inches down to nothing, you know, it's fantastic having like a, a chipping green or putting green in your backyard or front yard. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And also if you're looking at sprayers, you know, I just did a video on some sprayers. You know, if you're getting into spraying the lawn, that's a real good one. I'll leave that at the very end here. You know, you're gonna wanna check this video out. You know, it'll help you out picking out a sprayer. So that's also my journey on from beginning till now with sprayers. So, all right, guys, check me out on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. <laughs> Smells like real mowing.